everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is LJ and in today's video I'm going to be doing three different makeup tutorials inspired by St. Patrick's Day. I'll have each makeup look in the description box timestamped so feel free to skip ahead to your preferred look. This is the first look I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be priming my eyes the exact same way in each video. Just applying a little color corrector, shape tape as primer and uh, MAC matte cream on the corner of my eyes to stop them from watering. The first shade is number 288 from Inglot and as you can see I'm just going into the crease diffusing that out and making a perfect base for this darker green colour. So this is number 109 from Inglot as well. It is a rainbow colour. This colour, this eyeshadow is very handy to have because it has those three different greens in it so you can really diffuse it out. So I blend, add more and blend out to make it seamless. I don't know why I added my inner corner highlight here. But I, I think I just got really excited. So I just wanted to put it on. I'm popping down a bit of the lit glitter glue before popping on Magic Dragon, which is this amazing sparkly glitter. I'm popping down Magic Dragon with a 45S silicone brush from Inglot and I'm just focusing on the inner corner and smudging it out to the outside. I'm just going to line my top lid lightly with some black eyeshadow, this is number 391 in Inglot. Now onto the lower lash line and we're just going to emulate what we have on top. So starting with the darker green colour closer to the lash line and then going to pop 77 gel liner into my waterline my tight line and also smudging it down into my lower lashes and onto the bottom lid. Then with that darker green colour and just really really smudging making sure that there's no harsh lines or edges and then back into 288 which is the first green colour that we use and just really smoking out that lower lash line. Again, I'm popping on another little bit of inner corner highlight because it got a lot, little lost in there. This is the number 45 pigment from Inglot. I've been loving this mascara on my lower lash lines. This mascara has like a little comb on it, so it's really, really handy and it gets right in there. So Su Holly Lashes, popping them on top and that is the finished look. The second look that I'm doing today is this green cut crease on top with a smoked out orange lower lash line. So the exact same crease color, number 288, all the products will be listed below in the description box. I'm gently patting on the color first and then you'll see me starting to swipe back and forth. The swiping is going to diffuse the color and make it look more seamless. Then I'm popping on the darker green colour and really focusing it into the socket of the eye and smudging that through up into the diffused crease transition colour. Then I'm popping on a little bit of yellow. Yellow really diffuses the colour and makes it look like it's faded out absolutely seamlessly. I'm getting a more dense brush then for the outer corner to build up some more colour in that area just so we have a nice gradient and bringing that even into the socket more just to build up that beautiful color. For this look I'm going to use shape tape to cut out the crease. This is like one of the most nerve-wracking part of the tutorial because you have to get both sides even and sometimes it doesn't work out. I usually use a smaller brush but I decided to use this bigger brush today and it worked out pretty well. I'm then setting that in place with some white matte eyeshadow and I think that's where I went a little bit wrong but it turned out fine. I'm using Lime Time from the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne Kaleidoscope Dreams palette. This palette is absolutely perfect for St. Patrick's Day makeup because you got gold, you have orange, you have green, it's all in there. So as you can see I'm just popping that into the center lid and diffusing it with the darker matte green rainbow shadow. And this is Leo, which I'm popping over the white eyeshadow and it just went a little bit cracky. So it, it still looked okay, but not as uh, smooth and defined and refined as I wanted it to be. So I just popped on a tiny bit of liner and then I'm smudging it out with this black from the Urban Decay palette. And this black is so pigmented. I was really, really impressed with this pigmentation. I'm then diffusing this out to the outer corner and up into the crease just a tiny bit above where that line ends the crease. This is number 80 gel liner from Inglot and this is the most orange gel liner that you find on the market. It's absolutely stunning and it stays forever in your waterline. So so good. I'm loving this brush from the palette as well. It's 
really really nice I used the orange shade Tahin from the palette and just diffusing that out again with more yellow this color for the inner corner was absolutely stunning nice and bright the same mascara on the lower lash line because it just makes them look the best popping on Paris lashes for this look these lashes from Sosumi are amazing, like they're just so good and the price point is on point. It's really, really, really affordable and they look stunning. And that is the finished second look of the day. Moving on to the third look, so this is a little bit more creative. I'm starting out with the 109 green eyeshadow from Inglot and popping that straight into my crease and slowly diffusing it out and dragging that green eyeshadow right out towards the temple. Again, using my yellow to make it look beautifully diffused. Now I'm going right into the eye socket again with that dark green shadow just to make it look more defined and dragging it out with that little mini wing out towards the temple. So I'm cutting the crease a little bit different this time. I felt like I didn't need to be as precise because we're going to be adding that gold line. So I'm just using jawline to really, really clean it up and not add any product. And now I'm adding on the concealer and it's just going to be a little less product on there. So it's definitely not going to cake up or go cracked or anything like that. And it worked. It really, really worked. So I'm going to be cutting the crease from now on with jawline and then doing my concealer on top I just set that in place using white eyeshadow and number 287 is this really really bright orange color from Inglot and I'm just lining the top line with that then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of yellow again to really diffuse out the color then closer to the lash line I'm going to use number 300 from Inglot this is a gorgeous brown color and then number 298 with an angled brush right into the lash line. I'm then continuing to do the lower lash line the exact same as the top lash line. Now for the fun part, so I'm going to be mixing jawline with this gorgeous Body Sparkles pigment number 45 from Inglot. I'm creating a liquid, mixing them together and adding a line onto the areas that you can see I'm adding it to. This gold pigment turned out absolutely stunning and it lasted all day long. I popped it into my waterline as well. It turned out really, really nice, but it didn't really translate on camera or in person. Adding it to the inner corner and joining it through to the top line. Adding a little bit of mascara. I'm using the Paris lashes again, the same as the tutorial just before this one. And that's the finished look. Nice and creative. And that is three St. Patrick's Day eye makeup looks. I hope I've inspired you. Please leave a comment if you did any of these makeup looks and tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see them. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.